I was born in 1935. When the war broke out, we were in London. I would have been five years old at the time. I came to Canada from England in 1957. Came to teach at a little country school in Saskatchewan and married a local farmer. He was a good Catholic and he was quite willing, as I was once I discovered after a few years that I couldn't have children possibly. He was willing to go along with adopting the children. I got seven of them. It was just lovely. I was married to him for 36 years. He used to sometimes say some peculiar things. First of all, they thought he was bipolar, and then uh, they put him on some medicine that didn't really work. She was paranoid schizophrenia, which she, which she was. So then what happened, Christine? What did you do about this? The last 10 years, well, as I look back on it as a reign of terror, I was scared stiff of it most of the time. Everything was piling in on me, and I couldn't see any way out of it. I just reached the end of my tether. And then I decided I was going to take, I had some pills that the doctor had given me. I was very much on edge and I just decided I'm going to swallow these. I'm going to get to sleep and that's the end of it. It was so wrong. I hadn't really thought about it one way or the other until after I did it. Because then right after I'd swallowed everything, then I was concerned about the kids and began to realize how wrong it was. And so I got help. The kids I adopted were just so precious and so important. They were the happiest days of my life when I'm with them. How do you know for sure that you never want euthanasia? Euthanasia? is suicide. Oh, there's no other word for whether, whether you get a doctor to help you or not, it's putting an end to your own life. It just made me shudder. People don't realize how short life is and how precious it is. We've lost our respect for life. We've lost respect for our own life, that it's a gift from God. Tell me about the story of the tattoo. During the war, they, were, they printed these cards, and you're supposed to carry them in your wallet. And it said, I am a Catholic. In case of accident, please call a priest. You know, later on, when I was over here, I, I was so disgusted with the thought of euthanasia, and I wanted to make a, a statement. But I didn't want to do like they did in the war, put a card in my wallet, because you lose your purse. So I decided I'd get a tattoo. That would be with me forever. When I went to the hospitals, the nurses would see it. And, oh, come on, so they caught another nurse in. And think, oh, good for you, you know. And doctors walking by would give me a thumbs up because none of them wanted to be involved in helping live people to kill themselves. It just went against the whole idea of being a doctor. In light of how much you yourself have suffered, how can you see clearly the value of life? Because I know I'm here for a reason. Because God wanted me to be here. He wanted me to be born, be born into this family, have this life, eventually raise these children, um, do whatever I can to follow his way and to be with him. And the older I get, the closer I am to God. Respect the life you have. It's a gift from God.